Yo, what is up, guys? So for today, we're talking about the Eververse store. We're gonna, I usually do this in every new expansion, DLC, whatever the fuck you want to call it. And we're going to start with the Eververse because there's a bunch of shit that I'm going to be talking about in this season. Oh, my God. The amount of stuff that's in this game and that's not in this game. It's, it, it's really fucking hilarious. So let's go with Eververse real quick before I lose my fucking mind. So... Here we go. Now, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> now, you guys can see a lot of stuff right here. I think a lot of these are cool. Uh, I already have this. This is most likely going to be the discounted slot that we were told about. So it's actually $5. That's surprising to me, considering these skins are usually like $8, sometimes $10. We'll see in the in the other lists right now but as you guys can see all the armors now if you guys see the hunter looks super small compared to the titan why because it's a male titan fucking duh so yeah i that's why i never freaked the fuck out aside from me not being a titan main but also because i knew that the titan that was shown at that one picture was a female and the, the, the hunter was a male so that's why i was like oh i mean that makes sense so you know also we see a bunch of finishers and weapon skins that we will get to shortly and like every other season that's come and gone we have sh shit from the last season still being sold for some reason uh i guess i guess i'll just scoop this up i didn't get it and i did kind of want it because like i said in previous videos my titan does have a whole cabal theme to him so maybe i'll do that now this is where we're gonna start getting into everything first one is a season of the worthy starter pack which is very abysmal in my opinion you get a vehicle and a ship and then these garbage things and then this garbage thing and then 250 bright dust which is the equivalent of two weeklies and five of the repeatable quests so that's actually kind of garbage in my opinion this is not worth it at all for eight dollars not at all for 21 dollars you get two three finishers my bad <clears throat> i think that's okay this one i'm gonna love that looks fire and i am the boss now which just gives you a stomp so <clears throat> In my opinion, these look awesome, but are they $21 awesome? Fuck, no they are not. So, yeah, that's cool. Now, obviously, this shit looks cool as fuck, bro. I'm so happy the Hunters got this. Because, as you guys can see, it's not even that much armor. It's just, like, on the beginning of this, and then that's it. So, Titan's telling me that, oh, no, Titan should have gone. Look at how big they look. Dog, it's literally a sleeve. And just plates on it like calm down it's not that crazy i'm really liking this i kind of wish that the, the hunters had a like a cloakless uh, thing like we did in destiny one i would have loved to see that because then we could have shown the hunter insignia more but it's neither here nor there then we have we already saw these we are oh we didn't see this one <clears throat> I think that's really awesome. I think this is probably one of the coolest ones. How the fuck do I turn this? I guess I can't. Really cool. I'm not going to spend money on it because it's just a finisher. It's very... It's a finisher, guys. Like... $8 for... Whatever. So... We have the Hunter Ornament, which is basically... SIVA-infested radian... Uh, radian... This exotic, I forgot what it's called. Uh, for the radon flux radon flux that's no whatever i think it looks cool i do under i, I kind of wonder why it's siva related because it's this is not the only siva related uh skin that we have in the game right now there's uh, a few other ones in this season so i'm wondering if siva's coming back if it is i mean that's cool but there actually, there actually is no but i think that would be fire uh speaking of fire this looks okay not i'm not the biggest fan of this it's not that cool to me i mean it's 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 
cabal themed i know i get it but i mean whatever i'm not a big fan of it i'm not a big fan of a lot of these like this just looks like the sword we already have now but like it has extra stuff to it the standard bearer which is basic this one's probably the coolest one in my opinion even still it's just using the basic model with siva stuff on it i mean whatever to be honest uh i would have liked to see a little bit more in it but that's still cool lore of the hunt which is basically the only pinnacle weapon that we're getting this season i'm gonna make a video on that because i just have a lot of thoughts on that but we got a weapon we got we got a weapon skin for this gun for fucking last perdition what is fucking life right now bro i just don't understand we got another recluse skin and i think this looks amazing i love it a lot i actually do want it but i will not be putting down money for it four dollars is not much com considering there's other skins that are a lot more but i just wouldn't do it i would love to do this one this one looks amazing too bad that Ostringer is kind of garbage and then we got this you guys can see this if you guys want i'm not gonna do it right now i just i don't care about emotes in this game and then that's pretty much it you guys can buy the season two and there's one more that you could oh and the forsaken armor sets now which is pretty cool as you guys can see i don't have this one yet and i probably never will because 15 dollars for one armor set is fucking ridiculous and i just cannot think what whatever if you want to do it do you man if you think 15 dollars is worth it then i mean like fuck okay and honestly that's pretty much it for vanga or for eververse in my opinion she's kind of weak right now it's just very basic in my opinion not only that but we only get one skin instead of two which is interesting but let's actually see some of the stuff that we can't see right now which is the equipment so why do i have oh did i get all right so this is probably where it gets really cool so this is actually an awesome ghost this would have been awesome for like a trials of osiris armor actually it might be let me see win matches and trial okay cool so this is actually trials that's dope i like that good job bungie should not keep should not be congratulating you on something this basic but congratulations nucleus this is from eververse but it does look cool i could see a lot of warlocks uh using this this does look dope and i say warlocks because warlocks like this weird shit the calm nav which just looks weird to me it looks like a ball like just a ball uh, yeah uh, whatever don't really care about that too much this one I like a lot because it's a uh, hunter inspired I love it a lot I want to get it but at the same time I'm like uh, is it that important to me probably so that's pretty cool the almighty mask or whatever it's fucking rulers oh that's that's hilarious yeah this is awesome I love this uh, this is this is dope this is 10 out of 10 like you can't even fight me on that. I can't even say that name, but this is the... Damn, I like this for some weird reason. I like this. This looks dope. It looks really weird, but in a good way. I like it a lot. Sarah's skill. Actually, how do you get this one? Eververse. Okay, cool. So, Sarah's shell. Where's the eye? Oh, shit. There's no eye. That's weird. Uh, I'm a little disappointed that you can't get this in game considering this is like Seraph for late. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe it's just Seraph in name. And then Orb Weaver Shell, which is something I actually am going to want because this actually looks like a ghost and it's fucking Fallen themed. As you guys probably know, my Hunter is Fallen themed when it comes to ghosts, ships, and sparrows. So I very much want this a lot. And then we got the ships, which I think are kind of disappointing, especially this one, considering you can get this in game. Just a reskin that we've seen a million times. Very disappointing, especially when we see some of the skins that we get for, like, or some of the new ones that we get. See, it's like Sarah Forsat Network. Just, yeah. So, 
a new chance, a new calling, Saints Vocation. Don't really care much for that one. Knucklebug, don't really care much for that. Arrow of Time, don't really care much for that. Solar Sails, I like it. It's cool as fuck. It, it, I actually like it a lot. The Reprisal Sprint, whatever's. Waking Nightmare looks fucking amazing. I just, I don't even begin, like, I can't even begin to tell you, like, it looks cool. Yeah, it looks really cool, especially the Sparrow when we get to it, but yet something that could should, could have been in the game for, like, a reward for the, for the dungeon, Pit of Heresy, whatever. Obsidian Wings. Looks very Gundamish. I don't know why. And this is the one we get from the season pass. This is actually from a cheap going to the lighthouse, if I remember correctly, which is really cool. I like it a lot. It looks so cool. Unfortunately, the gold tint does not change, but that looks cool actually. Let me see. Uh, flawless chest. Yeah. I wonder if it's a chance or it's like just once you get flawless, you get it. Okay, yeah, this exists. Cool. Urban Commander, which is probably paired with the ball thing that we saw earlier, which is okay, I guess. Immoderate Splendor, which is, I want to say, hunter themed since it's a snake, but it's probably not, to be honest. Residual Trace, which looks really cool. I like it a lot. It would have been cool if the, the fire from here actually came out through here, but... Not that big a deal, really. Lunatic's Legacy, I think, looks Garbo. Nightmare Stalker, again, looks really cool. Like, if this dropped in-game, I would lose my literal fucking mind. It looks super cool. It almost looks like it's trying to grow. Like, oh, man. <sighs> Magneton Thrust looks like a dildo. The Blockbuster. It looks really cool. It looks almost like in a fucking Apache helicopter in Sparrow form. And then Seventh Seraph, which is basically the armor we got, or not the armor, the the Sparrow you get from the season pass. And that's pretty much it. I think it's pretty cool. Like whatever's honestly. Let's look at the season pass real quick. And I already got this. I, I'm at level one. I'm still starting fresh. And there's a bunch of stuff here that I think is pretty cool. We're going to look at the Luminous Ingram in another video because I just don't want to make this video too long, honestly. Let's look at the SMG real quick. Shit looks pretty. I think it looks cool. I think I, I, think I like this, yeah. And then... Obviously for your Tommy's matchbook. It's gonna be awesome having that. Or I already have it. This kind of looks like the shader from the last wish raid. Not the gold bone one, but the basic one that the armor has. And then there's the ship that I was talking about. The shotgun. Lead from gold and shield disorient, which is not what I would look for. Oh shit, the, the, the shotgun changes went through too. Dude, okay. There's a bunch of stuff I want to get into. Exotic, I am only missing one. Actually, let's look at the exotics later. It's consent, we're still, I still have some good time right now. Let's see the skin. Askin looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that a lot. That looks fire. Oh shit, where's the shotgun? Did I skip it? What is in the front? Oh, yeah, it's in the front. I like that. That looks cool. It looks cool. I like it. Fuck with that. And this skin looks amazing. I love it. It looks pretty cool. Probably shotgun shells down there. I want to reserve my judgment a little more, but my gut feeling tells me that I'm going to like this when I get it. And let me see something real quick. Okay, no. So, 
last but not least let's look at the exotics that are coming out i unfortunately already saw everything so you guys will hear my biases coming out in a bit but <sighs> raiju's harness while your whirlwind guard super is active guarding consumes less super energy and you can press f to deactivate whirlwind guard early and save super energy so from what i get from this it's essentially gonna work like the what's it called i always forget this exotic thing it's like it's gonna work like kind of like geomag stabilizers i guess where we will turn off our super and then we'll save some of our super if that's the case uh maybe maybe the super this exotic could be good just that in my opinion this is not gonna be something it's not something that you use i like for my hunter i like exotics that help me while i play not not like oh am i super so like stompies frosties exotics like that i really like because it, they're more useful to me because i'm not i don't have my super all the time but i'm always without my super almost all the time so for me raiju's harness might be kind of garbo but i want to get it and i want to test it out before i say it's garbage but for me it's not impressing me so far warlocks why the fuck do people keep texting me let me see emails fucking emails okay so surprisingly i did not expect this to be a warlock exotic i kind of feel bad for warlocks because this does not look good in my opinion but it's pretty cool so warlords end arc solar and void melee kills create a burst of enemy of energy that weakens nearby enemies finishers and kills against more powerful enemies increase the radius of the burst and the length of the weakening effect so this could be really cool since warlocks got that big ass fucking melee range boost now this could be really cool especially uh how much burst of energy like if it does damage i'm thinking pvp pve uh, we'll see but pvp could be really interesting also i'm pretty sure this is from like if this is fell winter's helmet himself that would be pretty fucking wild but yeah i think it's fine i don't think it's like garbage like it's okay that looks really cool shit but i don't know i do notice that the bronze in the middle does not change color though so that's that sucks titans oh it's this one okay so let me, let me okay so you and your allies can shoot through your towering barricade which has reduced health and duration so depending how much reduced health it is and depending how short it is this could actually be fucking gross because let's say you're in trials put up your bubble or your uh shield up people are literally gonna come out and be like all right uh they have shield uh put your, uh destroy it they go out try to kill it and here you and your whole team mow down people this is gonna be such a cool exotic to use i'm i really like using exotics that a lot of people don't use because most of the time they're very niche like a perfect example is the bombardiers for the hunters i fucking love these these right here the bombardiers they're amazing not a lot of people use them because they're not quote-unquote meta but it's a lot of fun because i'm very i'm a very aggressive player so i go in hit and then dodge dude's dead doesn't matter i'm literally running because i already know he's dead if the if this exotic can give me that same satisfaction then i already found the exotic that i'm gonna have for my my titan because i can tell you right now that's one of the best game of, like best feelings in the game to use something that a lot of people don't use but you fucking enjoy it oh my god that's the best feeling in the world so i'm actually re like out of all the exotics i'm really excited for the titans the most and that's pretty much it so i there's a few changes here and there like the stat tracker and a few other things but ultimately i'm going to be doing a few videos of just a bunch of things that i i have opinions on like the fact that there's no ritual weapons the fact that the world drops are really garbage I'll explain why in that video but let me know what you guys think about eververse i think it's fine i think it's okay uh i think the prices are still fucking bloated as fuck but overall whatever doesn't really doesn't really bother me anymore mostly because i don't care 
so let me know what you guys think in the comments below i love the armor by the way all of it and let me know what you guys think about the armor in the comments below if you guys excited for season of the worthy let me know in the comments below other than that i will see you guys later